drill the top educational stakeholders to establish whether the tight education program is to be blamed for the school assons. However, parents have been asked to take advantage of the midterm break to speak to and guide their children on good morals. Over the years, the second term of school calendars have been characterized by chaos with students raising school structures. Parents are now blaming the administration for the calendar changes that have been made this year to be the cause of school fires. So far, 35 high schools have been burnt down, amounting to huge losses in school properties, leaving the parents with the responsibility of bearing the loss. This was seen in September, where 40 students were hospitalized after inhaling smoke after a school fire in Nofafa, Jericho High. This has also been witnessed in Buruburu Girls, Moi Girls, Marsabit, and Kabarak High School. I think it is now an appropriate time for Kenya to go through a process of self-introspection, to relook at our education calendar, relook at our education committee, and, and, and distinctively analyze, review it, and see whether that is what is impacting in the burning of school. The parliament has an opportunity through the education committee to interrogate the education calendar and whether it is a contribution to burnout among students, hence the torching of dormitories and other infrastructure. And I'm asking our parents too, they should play their role, including myself as a parent. We play a role by talking to our students, talking to our kids when they come for after, so that they stop burning our schools. It's becoming a problem in the Republic of Kenya. Bishop Rose Okeno of Anglican Church in Kakamega County hailed the government for the decision to release students on half-term break, asking the parents to take advantage of counsel and guide their children on good morals. We urge all parents to have time with their children. We know that those parents who, I would say, absentee parents, let parents have time with the children, talk to them, advise them. Because at the end of the day, when they burn schools, when they burn you know, dormitories, for example, at the end of the day, it's the parent who suffers because they have to pay for them eventually. In Kisi County, five girls from Itiero High School have been arraigned at Kisi Court and charged with attempted arson. The charge stated on November 9th of 2021, they were found with some petrol and hand sanitizer, items believed to be used to ignite fire on the school dormitory. Frida Mapenzi, KUTV. And good news to the residents of Nairobi County who have been orphans without governor is that Ankananu Mwendwa has now been uh, who has been the acting uh, who has been acting rather as uh, the deputy governor of Nairobi County has now officially been sworn in as the governor. Kananu has taken over the reins from Governor Mike Sonko, who was ousted in on allegations of abuse of power and misuse of resources. In her inaugural address, Kananu played to be ruthless in her attempt.